Hello and welcome to my Royal Ascot 2024 demonstration of besting at the weights. You may have seen my previous demonstrations of this when I've been covered in Cheltenham a couple of times. Um, well, so I haven't done Ascot before. I did it for my own interest last year and this is what we'll be doing. I'm going to look at this week and we'll just have a look at last year's what happened last year and they will be creating a list like just like this as we go through the week with uh, profit and loss over on the right hand side here and you can see that we, I picked for my own interest I picked out a couple of horses there and three or four there and uh, kept a record of how it all went and eventually it came out if we'd bet one pound on each of all these runners there were 51 of them we would have come out with £27 profit before commission. So let's hope we get something similar to that this time around. Um, you can see the co some quite nice juicy odds on the way through. Some of the winners. OK, so let's get on and have a look at the sheet. And there's our empty sheet. These are the, the first four races of the meeting on the first day and those are the horses that have, have come out best in the weights so we'll have a look at race one and you see if you're not familiar with this this presentation we'll just do a quick run through names of the horses down there you can see these this is a nice easy race all the horses are carrying the same weight these are their official ratings so we'll look at the official ratings and work out which horses are best in which horses are best the best in at the weights according to the official handicapper now the the top rated horse is rated 127 which is that one so that is the zero horse which is big rock and then we work out all work out there the um and from that we work out which horses are best in at the weights compared to the highest rated horse so, and you can see the, we've got a, a column there with the ranking so we can easily pick out which is rank one which is the best in the best that is the horse that is the best in at the weights and then the next best in are rank two and uh, then it jumps to four because there are two we haven't got one rank three so they would be next best in those rank four and so on so those are the three that we're interested in the three best horse the three horses that are best in at the weights so i've listed those there copied that and put it in there and that's uh, one race covered so on to the second race race two there and you can see we've got different weights here this time which is a bit more difficult to work out. A top ranked horse is 114, which is that one. So the regional is a is the zero horse. Well the best in at the weights is big Evs or big EVs, whatever it's called. That's rank one. And rank two are these two down here, Valiant Force and Crimson Advocate. And I've written it out in English for you there. Big Evs is two pound better in than Valiant Force and Crimson Advocate. He's on ranked 113, and the other two are ranked 111 and 108. So that's how it comes out. They're two pounds worse off, which is uh, not a great deal. So it's all very close. Race three. We've got no noble speech. That's a top rank runner. We've got the same same weight on all the runners again here, so nice and easy to work out. And these are four pounds worse worse in than uh, noble speech. So that's all nice and easy. And the fourth race that we've got to look at, we've got different weights again. Top rank horse is 114 which is Isra and then 111 
and rank three is uh, that one right down there which will it be at big odds I should imagine so we'll see how those get on so his route is three pounds better in than Astro King and four pounds better in than Sam Han so that's ranked 140 so that's rated 114 that one's ranked rated 111 and that one's rated 110 so you work it out with the weights that is how it goes that's three pound better in than that one and four pound better in than that one so there are the horses for tomorrow and uh, I hope you'll join me tomorrow if you don't want to miss any of my videos you could subscribe to my channel Bet and Lay and uh, then you'll get a notification by email every time I put a new video up okay thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you again tomorrow for Ascot on Wednesday